Hi, okay, so today we're going to uh, see how to access um, files in MATLAB when we're logged into the York University WebFast system. So that is when we're using MATLAB on a web server. Okay, so on the screen right here, I have a, um, a text editor, and in the text editor, I am going to open a file, uh, this one, my data dot uh, text. Okay, and as you can see, uh, there is uh, some data in here, divided up in one column by time and by data points. Okay, so there's uh, five data points and two head and, and a line of headers. So this is a file that is on my actual computer, on my laptop. I'm going to fire up a web browser right now. In this case, I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to fire up um, Safari. So I'm going to type in WebFast. The login here. Okay, so here we go. Um, log in like this. And now that I'm in WebFast, I'm going to click on MATLAB and load that up. So I'm going to be using MATLAB on a web server. So MATLAB is running on a machine located at York University, and I will want it to load up a file uh, on my own personal computer. Okay. All right, so here we go. Now, while we're waiting for that to load, oh, there we go, it's loaded. Um, I'm gonna go up here at the top, I'm gonna change my keyboard from Canadian French to US English. And the reason for doing that is because um, it gets rid of accents that would otherwise um, muck up the, um, the MATLAB experience. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to open a file. So I click over here on open. Oh, right. So um, up at the top here, it uh, it shows me that uh, I can load files that are located on the server at York. So in my account, DR Smith, and then VF admin, York U, York U, temp, etc., etc. Okay, so that's where York would store its files, but that's not what, what I want. I'm going to go check over here in computer. Oh, and I get a warning here, and it says, How do you want to access files from this application? Well, for the time being, all I'm going to want to do is, uh, well, I guess I'll, I can make it read and write. So if I want to, to load files and write files, so I'm going to go read and write like that. Okay, so I'm going to give MATLAB and WebFast access to both um, reading and writing files. Now I'm going to, there, can we expand this? Yes, there we go. Okay, so on uh, the menu right here, it says that there's uh, FAST and courses and all these other things. Uh, these would be on the server. And then down here, it says local disk, local disk, local disk, local disk. And look, it says that I'm using a MacBook. It has identified uh, drives that are located on my MacBook. This is where I want to be loading my file from. So let's take a look at C. Might be this one. Um, yeah. I think this might be it. Okay, so I saved it as a .txt file, so I need to modify all MATLAB files. I'm going to say here, I'm going to say all files. Oh, there we go. And it appears, this is my data. I'm going to open it. There we go. So in the editor, it is now opened up that file. Another thing that I can do is um, home, there should be an import here. Oh, there we go. Import data. My local MacBook. My data. Okay, and up comes an import wizard. Okay, so in here, it's sort of like Excel. If you've ever imported data in Excel, here I'm going to say that I want delimited text. It's delimited by tabs. There's tabs between the numbers. Um, this looks right. Variable names row. That's row number one. So it knows that the names are in the first row. Um, and then everything else is fine. It has identified that I have my data in column vectors. I think everything looks good on here. So I'm going to go import selection. 
Oh, and it tells me the following variables were imported. Time as a five by one, var name as a five by one, data as a five by one, and var name four uh, as a five by one. So time and data appear to be what I want. That's fantastic. Go back to, no, not view. I'm gonna close the import wizard like that. Oh, and look in MATLAB, data and time are available. Mm -hmm. Okay, so anyways, at this point, uh, it's apparent that my variables are available to me and that I can load them up if I need to. And there you have it. This is how you import data into MATLAB.